by Sheedy, changing the point of the attack in the direction of Heath. Burrows is up in support. The pass just came behind him, but Burrows might make something of it yet. And Sheedy places it in. The goal is given. Everton thought they might have had a penalty when Burrows went down, but their disappointment turned to joy. Coming off the near post, Sharp waiting behind him. And King, and the goal from Billy Wright. This is King. Good defending there by Gary Mabbott. The early ball from Wright was a fine one. Bailey in goes Sharp. And McMahon. It's all going the way of Everton. 3-0 after 33 minutes. Crooks. Archibald, 3-1. Perhaps the euphoria getting the better of Everton. Recovered it well enough. Steen, Walsh has stayed onside. Played onside, in fact, by Phil Neal. Moss is in the middle. And beautifully done by Paul Walsh. And here's Steen and Lutner in front with their first genuine attack. And you can see how much it means to them. Lee. Guided down by Whelan. It drops for Sunes. Fire the post. Graham Sunes levels the count with a sweetly struck volley. Here's Sunes. And they want it offside there. And Rush sprung the trap, gets round Stevens and puts Liverpool in front. Down for Antish and a good run here from David Moss. Kennedy's come across with him, and David Moss with a superb finish. Moss and Steen is in the clear against Grobola. He's round him, and Alan Kennedy can't keep it out. Lutner in front in the most dramatic of circumstances. And Liverpool again are found wanting at the back. Johnston. First time from Rush. Lee thought about striking it. Didn't quite come right for him. And Johnston. Mal Donachy becomes the third Luton goalkeeper to be beaten here at Anfield. And the substitution pays off for Bob Paisley. Mark Jones. And now can Witt make something with the header here? And in goes Shaw. It's a goal that means a lot to Gary Shaw. Here's Douglish finding space on the Liverpool left. Whelan. Well, it's Whelan who will claim the goal. And if you're going to get a gift on your birthday, it was a deflection back onto him as he went for the shot. Douglas, good turn away from Holmes that time. Sunes. Well, it's some shot to beat the England goalkeeper from that range. And the flag has stayed down, and it's Mark Lawrenson with a straight run in on goal here. It's 3-0. Totally exposed again by a back four who weren't sure whether they wanted to play offside or not. Lawrenson. Johnston with a dummy from Dalgleish for Lawrenson. Superb! Like a knife through the centre of Southampton. Sunes, and this time it's Johnston against Shelton, who tries to go round him. Still Johnston. And finished off by Ronnie Whelan. Oh, 
Augustin. Payne winning his private duel with Chamberlain. And it might have set something here with Whiteside freeing Robson. And the finish is exemplary. Bond arriving again to join Reeve. Lakerton back, alert. Augustin on the post. Reeve. Goal! Stewart! First blood for City. Only Reeves and cross forward for City. Reeves here against McQueen. Baker joining in. Stewart to ride now. Cross! Clean as a whistle. chances created this game is still not beyond Manchester United Stapleton oh! when improvisation and inspiration was needed it came from a player who's been going through such a bad time the Hawks match from Duxbury this is Wilkin for oh, Robson. Drops the couple. Now Moran. Stapleton. The pressure finally paying off. So often in their first time football very quickly. Very effective and Chilton in trouble. Surely a goal here for Reeves. Yes. Well, Kevin Reeves has been waiting a long time for a gift like that. And it's Hartford with the corner. Bond. McDonald. They may have done it now. Wilde and Palmer have joined the end of the wall. Ryan tries to find a way past it and does in splendid fashion. He seemed to have to stretch as he hit it. Atkinson doing the running. Well, he was fortunate. McDonough. And now Wilde. Two now. very much in the Roger Wilde style. And Bowden clipped Clark, but ball still in possession, and again, the referee aware. Hooligan gives it away. Problems here, perhaps, for Oldham. With Hibbert, who's found the range of his shooting, and does so again. going through a spell at the moment where they've been able to draw breath with the cushion of their two-goal lead. But here's Rush beating O'Reilly. Lawrenson at the near post. Dalglish! A second for Dalglish. Joined there by Langley. Wolves flicked it on. And Methven... Goal, David Lowe. 
The 17-year-old scores for the second successive Saturday. Here's Langley, full of strong running from midfield, Kevin Langley. Low. And still. It's 2-0. Steele gets the goal on his 23rd birthday. Sibley coming away with the ball. Steele's touch. Here's Shaw. Playing it to the run of low. The mistake was by Houston. And Conroy in trouble. Steele! Disaster upon disaster for Sheffield United. And Jim Steele gets reward. Colin Morris, the ascended player, will take it himself. And beat Tunk comprehensively, 3-1. Nine minutes into the second half. Trotton, 3-2. Three, three header. Really does set up a finale. Robson, United finding room in which to manoeuvre in midfield. This is Muren, a beautifully delivered header for Whiteside. This one does count. And Arnold Muren rightly takes his share of the congratulations. Stapleton. but a temporary reprieve for Abramovich. Robson reflecting the confidence in Manchester United's display. So too Moses and the referee quick to make sure that he could avoid any tangle with Mayer. Muran. Robson wants it early. Brilliant goal. A salute of genuine satisfaction. This is Duxbury. And now Whiteside. And now Duxbury. Yes! Free kick against Geddes. And nudged Ratcliffe as they both jumped. David Geddes meaning a slightly different style for Luton. A more orthodox front player than Brian Steen. First, perhaps the ball in the air. A goal! John Bailey! A complete freak! Finley setting the wall. Ratcliffe makes a move, it's set up for Sheedy. Deflected in. Two players drawn towards him. Still current. He'll take a bow now. Terry Curran is back in the first division with a vengeance. Curran again. Heath. It's four. Terry Curran is running riot. Goal maker and goal scorer in delight. And then the corner dealt with by Higgins. And Stevens. Well, it's coming off for Curran. A little flick for Creed McMahon. And now Heath. Five-nil, second for Adrian Heath. Stephen and Flynn both available for the same ball. Here's Donerke. Stephen going outside him. Donerke uses him as a decoy. Now Hamilton. And a goal for Taylor. Mistake by Boulder. 19 minutes gone. The sort of good fortune, really, that Burnley have been looking for during this dismal run. 
here's Scott. And Taylor again. Two in two minutes. Donkey. Here's Hamilton and the referee waving him on. Round Boulder, 3-0. And this one does count. Lions, back in from Shelton, McCulloch. And you can see his enthusiasm to get the game restarted. Hamilton, well, a good half a dozen occasions, Billy Hamilton has defended well. And now Taylor, could this be the hat-trick? Well, may he dance. Dalglish, getting beyond Arnott, still Dalglish, and Rush. I just let me run, knowing, not thinking, I knowing I was going Sharp. Johnson and Sheedy. It's David Johnson who got the touch with his first kick. It's 1 0. given no chance the penalty comprehensively executed by Cobble right side again using the body to hold off the defender who was grey and it's let in Muran <laughs> probing forward again and Dalglish has made space for himself Tried to call it and does. A great moment for a master craftsman. It's his 300th goal in senior club football for Celtic and Liverpool. Someone again, now we've done a double in Kenny's first season. Dalglish. And Rush. And that has put Stoke out of the FA Cup. But he drives it forcefully past Corrigan and Tottenham are in front. Gibson, who shows the accuracy in the finish that Manchester City haven't been able to provide. A little bit of gamesmanship, he faces another wily experienced professional in Dennis Stewart who beats the goalkeeper's dive and City pull it back to 2-1 McDonald and Cross and again against the bar and Cross and this one counts he must have thought that it wouldn't be his day It's Dalglish, splendidly executed. Ipswich will wonder about whether the free kick should have been given. Liverpool will celebrate the way that they took it. Richardson takes it. Perriman with a rather tentative header. Sheedy, and here's Heath. And King! find the breakthrough this that has led to bookings King goal 
Sharp turned it over the line. Bakari's pass. Nicely judged for Moses and Stapleton. Moses again. Muren, the goal is open, and Muren finds it. Rush, Johnston, Dalglish, and Liverpool a level. Clinically done. Hanson, Dalglish, Whelan is the Liverpool player jumping, Dalglish collects. Chamberlain did well to manufacture a cross from that position. O'Callaghan got it back and Bracewell turns it over the line. Robola and Lawrenson got in each other's way. Here's Kennedy. Perhaps encouraged by Neil's little burst forward. And Kennedy was setting himself and is still in there. And Johnston. Just about sums up the goal. Dalglish. Watson had a wave at him. Sunas! Liverpool will give their supporters the finale. Dalglish at the core of it again. Augustin. Here's Makari again for Stapleton. It's one from the books of fairy tales. We've had two minutes of injury time. Uh, ...of how effective John Ryan can be when he gets forward, and they've closed him down whenever he's been in possession so far. He might be able to support Atkinson here. Want offside. The flag stayed down. Alan Stevenson has set a four man wall. And Wolves have Kellogg number seven going over the ball. And Palmer finding a way around it. In the eighth minute, via their captain, Wolverhampton Wanderers go in front. Bond this time takes the free kick, and in comes McDonald! <laughs> 13 minutes is lucky for Manchester City. And Stewart fires it past Parks. 2-0. Characteristically, Liverpool giving the ball away. And Norwich looked particularly threatening when Barham is involved. He took it on the chest. And gets past Kennedy. Goal! An own goal by Mark Lawrenson. It's almost as if Chris Woods didn't believe the wall would hold firm the position that he took up. O'Neill. 
It's well struck. It's superbly struck. Robola scarcely saw it. Norwich celebrate a 2 0 lead. This is McDonald. Bond trying an imaginative turn. And Baker. Yes. And the ploy of pushing Bond up front has brought reward. McDonald. Now, Robert Jones. Scores! Three minutes before half time. In his first half of league football. Robert Jones gives thoughts of First Division football to those that have come here from Leicester. Space for Alan Smith, English in the middle, and Ramsey has got forward again well. For Ramsey, 2-0. Leicester sliced the way through. Atkinson's corner. O'Neill winning the challenge of the two number sixes against Hooligan. McDonough. And now Henry and Palmer. Oldham have one back. And Leicester must worry again. Here's Fishenden. Slips Brecken. And Evans! The shattering moment for Berry. Gardner. Again, coming in strongly. This time the linesman waves John Leslie on. And it's Evans who tries to meet the cross and downs. 2 0. on his feet as well as Thomas did. Fishenden away from Halliday. Has he done enough? He hasn't. Halliday slid in, but Fishenden looped the ball up and over David Brown. It was a lucky finish, really, but it epitomises the way the afternoon has gone for Berry. Chambers, plenty of men up in the box. And Glavin is one of them. Might come down to Ian Banks. He couldn't control it. But Ronson has got Glavin through in a good position. A good cross, a chance for Ian Banks up the other side of the bar. Ian Banks might well hold his head. He should perhaps have scored really there. And now a chance for Glavin, who has done. And that's intelligent play by Ronnie Glavin. Having created one opening, he stayed up and made it count when the ball came back. Again, it's Birch's corner, the punch from Stevenson. Ronson's in the penalty area and does sufficiently well to get it over for Birch again. Number two from Parker. Again, Alan Birch's cross is converted. Parker stealing in and Stevenson had no chance from that range. Laws with the cross away by Glavin, who's worked very hard for Barnsley. And now a real chance on here. Glavin streaking down at the ball's plate to it now, which it was perfectly by Birch. Glavin could make it safe with his second goal, and he does. Ronnie Glavin milks the applause. He spotted what was on there so quickly. And did he finish it well? screaming for it on the right gets it looks to take on gray flips it across there's the header and what a fine goal that one is for winston campbell no wonder they do their little samba
huge kick again by Lukic, which uh, really could catch them, Butterworth, and that came straight from Lukic's goal kick. 1-1 it is, Aidan Butterworth's sixth goal of the season. Ronnie Glavin has got ten goals this season, he's got four in the last three games, and six in the last six. 2-1, Lukic unlucky, he got both hands to the ball and couldn't keep it out. No wonder he looks in agony. <laughs> Thomas over on that uh, right-hand side. It was interesting uh, switching between Thomas and Hart in the right-back position. That's a good ball. And now lays it forward for Sheridan. Gavin gets it back to inside the area. Mark Gavin, he's got the first goal. And Mark Gavin scores his first ever league goal. What a great moment for the youngster that is. Clark's worked a very good ball through to Smith. The first real clear opening and Smith takes it superbly. 1-0 to Wolves, Gordon Smith gets only his second goal for the club. And Chambers received it. Looking down the middle for Moore, so it could come off the back for Banks, who's got the equaliser. An element of fortune that came off Jeff Palmer. And within two minutes of Wolves taking the lead, Barnsley level. Floats it in for Glavin, it's away though by Humphrey. Ball given away by Humphrey this time, and Chambers, Moores at the back post, knocks it through, Moores, and oh, it must be a goal, it's a winner for Barnsley. Derek Parker takes the acclaim of the crowd, a defensive muddle. There's 14,000 plus crowd getting a little bit impatient now, so a bit more action, I think. Whitehurst might supply it here. Boo. Kind of that time for Whitehurst, so Mutri here. Oh, it's a good ball for Marwood. Could Marwood be in? He is in. It's a super goal. That was beautifully won. Frags forward. Egan's flick. Berardi. Egan again. Chance here for Egan. Substitute Derek Bell is on at the moment as Keegan pushes that one wide for Saunders. Shannon Haradi that's in there by Jeff Clark. There's the equaliser. Martin organising. Wharton with the corner kick. Hewton's there first, it's only half clear, Anderson trying to get it back for Newcastle, Martin was there with a little touch, Keegan Waddle, he scored, that's the goal Chris Waddle wanted on his return to the team. Chisholm, looking for Venison, but intercepted by Samson, Venison's got it back, determined work by the youngster, Gary Rowell now, that's a goal from Gary Rowell. And Pickering again is away. Denied by Talbot, and he gave it straight back to him. And Rowell could exploit it. And number two for Gary Rowell, number two for Sunderland. What a mess by Arsenal. Pickering into the middle from Gary Rowell. Is this to be his hat trick? It's the hat trick for Gary Rowell. Forward for Berardi. And the goal there, scored by Kenny Wharton. All the way here. Berardi in the middle. Keegan's arriving now. Berardi, 3 0. No mistake there by Imre Berardi. Martin hurrying things along here, and Wharton, and that's gone in as well, that's 4-0, and Kenny Wharton's got his second. Reflects header there from Woodcock, 
to Ricks. What a fine goal from Graham and Ricks. That left foot so accurate. Sabru in there and Gary McDonald now up to Bell. Candlers were doing it at the death. Bell, Otto coming in there. Otto, he's done it. Harry Otto gets the equaliser for Middlesbrough. And we're into the final minute. And what a shot for the Gunners. So it's Gary Rowell against Jim Arnold. And no trouble at all for Gary Rowell. Johnson. And laying the ball into the path of Adrian Heath. And sharp, and that's the equaliser. Well worked, well taken. James with the corner kick. Raul going for it, and Raul gets it as well. Gary Raul's second goal of the match. It's 2-1 now. Anderson steaming up outside him on the overlap. McDermott looking for Waddle. With Metcalf there, and he's put it in. That's an own goal by Stuart Metcalf. Tried to play his team out of trouble, but succeeded in doing exactly the opposite. Way there by Rathbone. Still, Newcastle keep the move going. Anderson, McDonald, Varadi. And Varadi hooks that one in for the goal. Quick to still have the corner kick Metcalf and Carr and turned in there by Keeley the former Newcastle player and that at least will please him and so it does now Dermott good save by the keeper and has it gone in eventually there by Waddle well really took an eternity to get in there from Waddle Lowy to Rathbone. And we've got another one, and it's Keeley again. Well, that's a remarkable performance by Glenn Keeley. Who's come short for it. Uh, did well to keep it going there. James with a chance to cross. Cummins is there, and West, and he scored Colin West. Blake then with the spot kick. And he's put it away with no problems at all. And my word, he's a happy fellow. Over comes the free kick and Harford and Harford has scored. So a golden chance for Hartlepool here. I think it'll be Roy Hogan who'll take the kick. Hogan with the kick. And that's 1-0 to Hartlepool. Roy Hogan taking full advantage of the spot kick. Carr. Martinez is there but beaten in the air for it. Farrell as willing as ever, looks it to the path of Snooks. Only half a clearance. Linnigan's got it away now. And a neat little flick from Dobson. Hogan. And Dobson continued his run now. Staff is free in the middle if he can find him. This is Paul Staff. Can he get the shot in as well? He's turned well. And he's finished it off superbly. Paul Staff scores after a fine break by Hartlepool. Charged down by Hatton. So Slatter again. Alan Ball has sold him into trouble. Here's Hemmerman. Gibbons is inside. He gives it to him. Looking for the shot now. There it is. One nothing. Cardiff City. And the man who hangs his head is little Alan Ball. Just over 15 minutes gone. Back to the dressing room. He has been injured. Perhaps he wasn't fully fit when he came on today. At Rovers now, 1-0 down, attacking through Brian Williams. That's a good-looking ball, and that's a goal, certainly, for Nicky Blattner. 1-1. Beautifully taken goal. Buren will take the free kick for United. We've got five players in the area, and Koppel and Wilkins just outside it. Buren, McQueen, all quick save, but Robson's there.
Regis is in the six-yard box. Easto's in there too, and Brown picked on there by Brown Bennett. And it's gone in from Martin Bennett. Oh, we've not even had a minute of the second half. And Brown, Zonovans, continues his run. Brown then to Batson. Easto wants it. Easto! Now Robertson. Brown's gone forward, so has Regis. Brown chasing. Oh! Well, Ali Brown almost himself can't believe it. What a superbly taken goal. Now Livingston. Johnson snapping back at him, but still Livingston. Good control. Fight save by Horn. And it's there from Humphrey. Humphrey. Eaves is in there, way by man. Only as far as Palmer. Daniels chip. Palmer on. Eaves is onside. The linesman's flag stayed down. And Phil Eves has laid it on again. It's Forrest's turn to attack. Wallace is away from his man, away from Rice. Bertels coming across. Still Wallace. Interception though by Rice. This is Walsh. Well. Without any doubt at all, I think the goalkeeper will feel perhaps he should have got that. Oh yeah. Jacket slid it through. Bertels. 2-0. The corner. Chamberlain. And it's there. It's gone in. George Berry has scored. A scramble in the area, and George Berry has done it again. Now here's Stevens. Way by Berry. To Maguire. Donaghy. Walsh again. Well, how about that for a goal? Well, it really didn't seem on, but Paul Ward strikes the ball so beautifully. Just making sure that the ball is in the right position. The corner then from Maguire. Up goes O'Callaghan. Hit it away. Chamberlain. Immediately confronted by two defenders. Can he find a way through? Berry! Quite remarkable. Ford Berry has done it again. Hill. Breaking now for Luke. This is David Moss. Steen up two. In for Steen. Finishing by Brian Steed. There he is again. This is strength, of course, in the air. Dave Watson. So it is for this man, O'Callaghan, that finds Chamberlain. Look at the speed here. Chance. It's gone in. It was Bracewell who got the final header in. Hill again to Steen. Good turn from Hill. Find Steen again. Still Steen. Well, would you credit it? What a match this is turning out to be. That's two now for Brian Steen. That's the thing about this match. There's so many potential goal scorers on the field. Here's another one. Ricky Hill to Hawk. Another stoke throw. Berry. Challenged by Antich. Most in trouble. Hampton knocking it down. This is O'Callaghan. Superbly struck goal by Brendan O'Callaghan. And it's 4 4.
Matson de Brown. All counts is given away to cross. Oh, what a mistake by Gordon Cowns. But how well take up the goal was from Nicky Cross. A terrible kick though by Blythe. He's given it straight to Steen. Oh, you really shouldn't say things so soon, should you? Just as I was saying how well Jeff Blythe had done. A terrible mistake. They featured in very exciting draws. They've yet to win away. I wonder if that piece of luck is going to put their way today. Oh, could be a break on again now. Walsh is away. Birmingham caught napping. And Walsh has made it too. Well, would you credit it? And no problems for David Langham. So. Walsh looks to take on Van den Hoorn. Lovely control in for Moss again. A magnificent goal by David Moss. Superb finishing. Langan again making a run outside him. Here he is now. Brazier in the middle, so is Bremner. This is Brazier! A fine goal from Colin Brazier. And a fully deserved one too. This man really has run himself into the ground. Dalgleish. Liverpool set with plenty of possession. Good return pass too from Wheeler. And in a way, that's gone in from Lawrenson. McElroy. Been involved in a great deal for Stoke. Didn't quite find his man there, but Thomas. Oh, magnificent goal from Nicky Thomas. And Jeff Palmer. Their regular penalty taker. Take the kick. Palmer against Cherry. 1 0. Well, George Foster there just whacking the ball into the net in disgust. Hill drifting in field. Then to McCall. Didn't find his man. Away comes Matthews. Darby will be stretched here. This is Eves. Gray and Butler in the area. Matthews is there too. It goes Gray. Graham Hawkins leaping off the bench. Well, we were talking about typical Andy Gray headers. That surely was another one. And a good layoff from Wilson. This is McCall coming forward. And away now then goes Wilson. Could be a chance here. And he takes it superbly. 15 minutes into the second half. And Kevin Wilson... Ken McNaught has come up for the kick. Evans there too, and so is Peter With This is Evans. And in from short. Well, whether he intended it or not, no matter. Gary Shaw has put Villa in front. Striding figure still going forward. Good tackle by Cowens, who was then caught by Robson. Now white side. Away from Cowns, this is Stapleton. What a beautiful goal by Frank Stapleton. It was quite magnificent for the Republic of Ireland in midweek and continuing that form today. Touched off then for Morley and away off Koppel. But that'll be a moment they'll be talking about long into the night. Williams, Villa haven't finished. Header in from Webb. What better way to make amends? Peter with has put Villa in front. Eight minutes into the second half. Robertson then with a the kick in. The header from Young. William, second goal of the season, has put Forrest in front. Proving ball to John Robertson. Chance to run at defenders. Good cross into Bond. Half clearing away, and then from Bottles. And that really is the perfect start for the second half for Nottingham Forest. Bottles away from Peyton. 
And then for Wallace, what a lovely touch off too. And Bertles is through here. Brilliant goal by Gary Bertles. A fine, flowing move by Forrest. That really was a splendid goal. Accent with the corner. Up goes Gale. And it's gone in from Buchanan. Quite amazing. A mistake by Jerry Pate. That seemed to rebound off his shins. The con from Lineker. Smith. Here's Buchanan. Just let it run too far, but he's got another chance. Good turn. And another one from Lineker. Set up by David Buchanan. Who has been quite a revelation since he arrived on the field. So then a little a Liverpool free kick. Missed by the wall. Shot from Lee. Oh, what a save by Rimmer. And Hodgson has scored. Jimmy Rimmer was all over the place as the ball came through and around the wall. He's complaining now. Dalglish with the corner. He's gone in. Well, that really was a strange goal from Kenny Dalglish. And Aston Villa find themselves two goals down. Kennedy running over it, driven in by Sunis. Kennedy's through. 3 0 to Liverpool. And again, the Villa defence totally caught out. It was a rather fortunate break from the wall. Free kick by Williams. With is in there. Falls in for Bremner. Came off William Shaw. And Gary Shaw has got one back. We want that now. The Liverpool 33 minutes gone in the first half. So again, the big men are in the area with. Wharf and Daniel and Evans coming up too. Liverpool have pulled everybody bar Ian Rush back. Cowans with the kick. It goes with. Brilliant goal by Peter with. And what a match we have on now. Villa 2, Liverpool 3. Lawrence for Hodgson to run on to. It's away from Jones. Dalglish. Rush, 4-2, and there you see just why Ian Rush is feared so much. A typical Liverpool move. So Forrest have pulled everybody back. All five men in the Forest wall. Foster's the player on the end of it. Devil and Swiddlehurst, Devil shot. What a moment for we Archers, hundreds of supporters swarm onto the pitch. And with Hill, and break on here for Derby. Forest defenders quickly rushing back, in goes Hill. down by Robson for Koppel, then Whiteside. Lovely finish by Norman Whiteside, who's struggled to score with any consistency after an early flourish at the start of the season. Who scored from the penalty spot the last time we were here at St Andrews. And he does it again, it's 1-1. Duxbury. Side battling and Robson. What a goal from Brian Robson! That was a magnificent goal. As with on the edge of the six yard box, knocking it back short and the goal. Power to chew it. Reed with the determination of Cowens. Reeves now chew it. Chance here for Hartford. What a goal from Asa Hartford. And what a bonus for Manchester City. Now Francis with the free kick. Gillespie this time has come up. Witten picking it on. Now Melrose. And 
Jim Rose, Melrose has broken the deadlock. The spanking shot. So around eight minutes now to half time, and Coventry certainly in control. But well worth their lead. Hately away from Kate. It's Melrose up in support. Going it alone. What a goal! That was a magnificent goal by Mark Hately. Taking on defenders, it was away from Kate. There's the four man wall that Manchester City have erected in front of Jerry Francis and Steve Hunt. Who passes it off now then to Gillespie. There's number three. Gillespie's first goal of the season. May is away to his left. Thomas playing it quickly out of defence for Francis. The Coventry players quickly sprinting upfield, but Francis going in alone. Can he finish? Can Melrose off the line and Hunter scored. It's turning into a comprehensive victory for Coventry. And Steve Hunt with his fourth goal of the season. Bolton with Shaw. Now Walters. This is Morley. Looking to take on Pat Rice. He's away from him. And Shaw has done it. The pace and skill of Tony Morley is set it up. And Gary Shaw's finishing was perfect. It's going to go well so far as Collins here. A chance here then for Tony Morley. Took a deflection. And it's number two. It came off Pat Rice. Tony Morley, I'm sure, will claim it. Gibson to Shaw. Dragging the ball back beautifully. Now counts. And Villa build something here. They can. Colin Gibson has got Villa's third. Player with the kick. Spotted Cowans making a fine run through. Cowans, this could be four. Brilliant finish set by Gordon Cowans. Is it just opposing himself? Well, Spink almost got it. And looks furious with himself, but he didn't. He went the right way. And somehow the ball seemed to go underneath him. Now Smith. Looking to turn. Dodd, good ball through to Linex. Lovely goal from Steve Linex, who really thundered that one past John Burridge. Goes Alan Smith. Lineker. Came off Dodd. Only half cleared. Oh, what a goal from Alan Smith. What a goal that was. Well, this Leicester are really turning it on this afternoon. One, one for Smith and Lineker now. Wilson, cross in for Smith. Linux. A poor John Barrage. Couldn't keep it out. Now Linux picking up a splendid pass then from Bobby Smith. Still Linux. Lineker. It's gone in off the post. Well, you can't say that Gary Lineker doesn't deserve a goal. Lineker again prepared to take on Dodd. Beat him too. finish by Jerry Daly first time into the far corner just outside the six yard box corner floated over by Hooks Chuck surely and it's in from David Hunt Tottenham failing to clear the ball and with eight minutes gone Notts County have taken the lead one of those three centers of a county goal but perhaps something could be on here Worthington steaming away, Fashionu and Chidozi both in the area, saved by Clements, Chidozi! And what delight Chidozi has taken from that goal. He has his... Now Fashionu and Chidozi, he's got round Lacey. Can he find a way through? That was a splendid goal by Chidozi. And just listen to the flame of the crowd. Robertson and Bowyer, the two players on the ball. Robertson curling it in, up goes Anderson. 
the header from Hodge. 1 0. Peter Schultz beaten. And Steve Hodge has given Forrest the lead. Williams with the corner. There's Nichols' head up. Bayer across. Armstrong! Well, they've been threatening an equaliser, and they found one. Up they both go. Falls in for Wallace. Brilliant goal. Well, he's missed two other occasions. But he should have scored, really, this afternoon, thwarted by the goalkeeper and by his own lack of control. But on this occasion, he smacked it straight past Van Brokelen. <laughs> Dreadful mistake then by Robertson to set Barnes in. And Barnes has given Watford the lead. A tragic error then by Alistair Robertson. Watford are coming forward again in strength here with Callahan. Oh, what a goal that was. That really was a tremendous effort by Nigel Callahan. Blissett away to Callahan, spreading the play well. Now Taylor for Barnes. Here's Callahan. Could be danger here. Blissett. And Lohman to finish. And Watford now have taken complete control of the game. Whitehead in for Easto. Falls in for Joel. And into the corner. And Albion have got one back. And Martin Joel, who's had a fairly frustrating afternoon up until now, gets some consolation. The customary ploy of Knox County to use the height and strength of the air of Kill Klein, who's just inside the six yard box. Oh, the goalkeeper lost it. And the goal right in the opening minute by Lautner. Well, what an amazing start to the match, just two minutes gone, and Aki Lartanen. Wallace is on the end of the five-man Notts County wall. Robertson Swain coming in, and the goal from Swain. His first goal for Nottingham Forest, and what a timely one too. Phillips and decides it's time to run perfectly. He's onside. Can he finish? Also can. One nil to Birmingham. Oh, just the start they wanted. Playing it alone. Kept in play too. Harford's jump. Down in for Handysides. Harford's continued his run. Waiting in the area. Handysides can get the cross in. Up goes Harford. And it's gone in. The goalkeeper. Dejection among the top and players. And it was Harford who started the move. Kill Klein. And Ricky Hill comes fast into that space. Good cross. And it's there. Paul Walsh. The new boy opens his account. And what a super goal it was. Corner to be taken by Harcook with Kill Klein, Goodwin and Christie making different sort of runs. Kill Klein. Too, too simple. Goodwin might have helped keep Brian Horton quiet, but he hasn't done too much himself. And that's a better ball for Chidozi. Donaghy comes over, that's a great effort! 
what a goal that was. Wolves very popular here already. Here's Donaghy going again. But that was good here. Hill! Whacked into the back of the net. 2-2. Two -two. It looked to be developing into one of those days when it wasn't going in for Luton. Horton. And here comes Moss. Oh, what a great effort. Straight out of the textbook. Let's Luton in. And Paul Walsh chases. Michael Small gets into the middle. Oh, he done well. Superb. What a goal. Hill. Brian Steen on the right. Moss is coming with him. Walsh is coming to the near post. It's a hat trick. And back come County. Worthington. And that's another goal. And that's by Goodwin. Not too much jubilation about that one, but a goal all right. Mariner turns away well. But not numbered, although he gets it back in for Brazil. It must be offside. Clark is getting into the middle. Here he is. And here's Mayer. And Mayer is there. It's a goal. Well, that should never have been allowed by Norwich City's back. Bennett. Oh, it's a great goal. That's a flying header there. Dean coming in from that set position just inside the penalty area flinging himself at that and that's a wonderful goal and exactly what they needed Chidozi here on his own up against Walford now and Chidozi bursting forward well good cross Christie and that is the winner well, there's no doubt about where that was created. On the other side of the field. Wicks on the near post. Hazel on the edge of the area. Up goes Wicks. Oh, that's a good one. He's got it. That's a classic back flick. Saves Rangers. And at the other end, there's Seeley breaking forward for number two. Neatly taken. Well, the positive counter-attack. Left exposed there. Well, they were still thinking about that goal that they should have scored at the other end. Oh, and Allen gets a good headed pass forward there. Fallon is bypassed. And it's put in. An extraordinary goal there. From the most oblique angle, with a certain amount of help. For Lockhart. In goes Smith, he might be there. Yes! Well, Queen's Park Rangers didn't fight for that one. He's got support from doors behind him if he was required, but Stewart doing all right on his own. Stainrod. Allen, lovely turn! That was a million pound goal. Good year at the front. Good year. Gracious me. What sort of a birthday present is that? The 
Which is still getting the former back. Now they can go. Huddle. He scored. Well, it's a bit cruel to say it was obvious what was coming from. Shannon controls it. Barham can't. And Bailey gets it away to King. And there might be a break on here for Everton with Heath on the right. Well found. Reed is supporting him. Having a go at Downs first. And a good drive from Ratcliffe of all people. Beaten there by a defender popping up from nowhere. Couple against Money. You're relaying it quickly to Moses. Moses trying one. Chipped it in, there's Mariner flicking on. Walk back tracking, great goal! What a super goal that was! Couldn't be expected to save that. United pushing a lot of players up already. Couple. Out goes Walk. Ducks free. Nice play here. McQueen's popped into the penalty area too. Here's Stapleton. Good shot! Oh, great effort! Baffled by that one, but that was outside the area. Stewart back in. Haylock wins, but it's Dickens coming forward. You can hit him. Oh, it's a great goal. Alan Dickens who scored a couple of screamers like this already this season. It's Dean who's got the opportunity of cashing in on Shannon's fall there. But he's had problems from the spot this season. Oh, it's in! Relief for John Dean particularly, and for Norwich City and their supporters. Touched back by Walk and away by Russell Osman. To Mariner, Putney chasing this again with Walters. Good well to get there with Callaghan. Forward goes Burley. Cowan's covers. Good deep cross. And away by McNaught. Up goes Davery again. Oh, he was nearly there. McCall! Oh, gracious me, what a goal! That was a clearance off McCall. He'll be credited. But speak without a chance at all there easy one for Gernon oh and Walters is in there to pinch it from him Shaw is coming towards the near post and he's got it and the terrible error at the back there by Ipswich Shaw really rifling in on that one Shaw doing well to find the Mortimer here Peter Witt getting up good shot a great goal. Oh, a classic far post header there. It's Shannon here. Good cross. Dean. Good goal, although Pickering did manage to get his hands to it. Great cross, though, from the right. Dave Watson doubling off the near post. Downs driving one off. Those drives from Downs were always going to work, but it's Dean who gets the touch and the credit probably, but I don't know, you've got to give half of that to Downs. And you've got to have a lot of sympathy for Nick Pickering. Well, that's a nice little spinning ball from Paul Walsh. Hill to Stevens. Walsh gets into the middle for this one. Here's Walsh. Oh, a fine goal! And the spell is broken. I think he gets up. Walsh. Number two. And surely Luton are safe now. And here's Loveridge. Walsh is out of business at the moment, so tired. But Swansea keep going for one, and it's a good header by Latchford. Latchford getting a good touch there and putting Swansea back into the game 
but it's Luton pushing forward. And lo and behold, it's a hat trick for Walsh. And that does finish it off. He barely had the strength to lift his leg and touch that one in. Burley. Tyson. Yes, caught napping by that. And Tyson's cross. Gates. Gates again, and Gates scores. Well, Digweed couldn't be faulted. He got out and got his body down, but he couldn't hold it. taking it back from Grealish and going on to the shot and what a very good goal he scored too I am very proud of it uh, and, that. and of course apart from Mikel with I mean I played with Steve Elliott it was a great <laughs> Turned across by Heffernan and was that a foul? It's a goal anyway from Fuddle Look for the moment as though Milton Graham had been pushed off his feet. But the disappointment of the Bournemouth fans turned to jubilation. Heffernan makes a run across the box and then checks. Graham arrives slowly. And there was a foul there on Brignall. Header across by Heffernan. And it's another goal deflected, I think, off Senior. But it's 2-0 and Heffernan celebrates. And so do the Bournemouth fans. Jumping with McQueen and Muren in this kick. Foster is there. Ryan to cross. The little chip wasn't high enough, but the clearance has gone to Grealish. And Ryan can try the centre once again. Robinson jumping. And that was a goal and surely a penalty. Ford scores and the penalty claim becomes immaterial. Peter Ward gets his first goal return to Brighton and his fans celebrate Barnes getting the pass from Blissett and dancing past Foster back onto the left foot the cross chip pin Jacket Kenny Jacket breaks the deadlock with another thundering shot his second goal in four days Gatting, Foster, they're all up there. Ryan had a swing at it. Ward slips. The clearance goes only as far as Case. Case for Grealish. Only Digweed not in the Watford half. And again a body in the way. And again from Robinson's shot. But Ward has got it. Rafferty, nice touch for Webb. Webb back to Rafferty, who's gone past the fullback. And he's gone all the way and scored a wonderful goal. That really was a superb goal. Pushing it into the path of Williams, who's got a lot of space to exploit. Running up Walford and going past him. And bringing in Moran. Moran turns downs and gets number four. But eventually... The responsibility devolved on Steve Hazelwood, and he has actually scored four times from the spot. And now five. Well, you wonder why penalty taking seemed difficult for so long for Portsmouth. Rogers now swinging it in. And in goes the goal. Alan Bailey celebrates his birthday with his 20th goal of the season to put Portsmouth 2-0 in front. Stevens. Case, can he get through here? Ref did that. No. Will it count? The referee has given it. And the linesman has taken down his flag. Dean is pointing at the linesman 
who raised his flag and then took it down. So it'll be Nick Holmes to swing it in with the left foot. Now he's played it short to Williams. And the header out by Reed, but only to Williams again. Far post this time. Ooh. And in. And Moran peels away, raising his fist in celebration. And there was a fatal hesitation in that six-yard area. And Lomax has so shown a few signs of nerves in this uh, testing opening period for him. Nicola header, and right, Holmes I think got the final touch, but another awful mess in the six yard area for Manchester City. Ball, bad ball. Good break by Armstrong, and now there's trouble for Manchester City again. Armstrong, Moran, and that's 3-0. Moran's goal, made for him by David Armstrong. again with the header, Agbula for Southampton, Moran was the only Saints player in the City half, and he may get a goal out of it too, that's his hat-trick, and another defensive error by Manchester City, punished quite lethally, and Steve Moran completes his hat-trick just before half-time. Ball hits the referee's heel, but now Reeves, and that's 4-1, Reeves pivoting on the ball, and Shilton's dash from his line, coming too late. Outswinger this time, and the header is in, finally got the last touch. I think it was probably, it was certainly put over the line in the end by Bailey, who's injured. From this kind of distance and this kind of square on angle, he can be absolutely deadly. Roberts. Well, they didn't miss Glenn Hoddle. Graham Mosley gets to his feet, disconsolately making signs that the ball had swerved, but it was along the ground all the way. Mr. Callow really is about the only person who's playing up to his reputation here today. And he's getting through, and that's a goal! Out of nothing. Clements, I think, worried about Jimmy Case, who's not marked just outside the area. And the header, and it's now 2-1, and Ryan has scored! The substitute on for not much more than five minutes. Swinging corner, and it's gone in, I think, off Agbula. Flew over that knot of players on the near post. So, Williams to take the free kick. Hit in low. They were unlucky there. with a free kick, which took Luton by surprise. Wallace to take the kick. A cluster of players on the near post, Godden finding it difficult to get through. Wright helps it over. Moran! 2-1. Armstrong gets the congratulations, so it must have been Armstrong who got the final touch. Two of them went together there. Not a long way out, it's... Uh... Going on to 20, 28, 30 yards, they've opted against the hard shot, I think, because Moss has peeled away, but Antic has a go, and scores! Oh! Peter Shilton hangs his head, but what a tremendous strike from Antic. 22 league goals that season. Promotion to Division 2 was clinched against South End.
rescued him, and here's the next corner. And there's Bailey! There's a gap in the smile, but the sentiments are plain. Thompson making a charge. And not a bad one as well as Rush goes through. And this surely is a goal for Liverpool. Ian Rush with a fine finishing touch. But what a brilliant break by Phil Thompson. <laughs> Jenkins, Armstrong and Blissett has come up from the back as well. So they'll be the three that they're aiming for us. Callaghan floats it in there. Ross Jenkins going all the way. Scored. No. Oh, yes, he has. It's been given. And Watford's first goal in the first division comes after 21 minutes. This is Trevor Ross on the left of the picture there. Former Arsenal man. Yes, it is. Here's a Watford free kick. And Southall. And a goal given. Astonishing second goal, the first he's ever scored for Watford. Neville Southall can't believe it. Clements has lined up the wall in hope sufficiently. Four in it. Bond and Power over the ball. Reeves is wide. And Caton is menacingly placed along to the left. The pass may be to him, but it's Power with a shot deflected. And a chance here, surely. And it's tucked away by Baker. And uh, the former Southampton man puts Manchester City into the lead, his first goal for his new club. Roberts. Oh, he was warned by the crowd that Baker was behind him. He's been dispossessed. Can this be number two? It'll be an amazing one if it is. Oh, my word, what an amazing goal. But it was Roberts's error, and then an amazing lob by Graham Baker, who gets his second goal of the game. Galvin needs something very quickly now Tottenham to give them a chance to get back in and they've almost got it they have and Mabbott has scored for Tottenham he scores a smashing goal here this is on the asset off at Queen's Park Rangers when yeah. he gets to the bounce of the ball there beats the defender and it was a very cool finish Jimmy he really does slot the ball in well Corner for Leeds, Paul Hart right in there, the two big number fives tangling there, and it was Roger Brown who got it away. Thomas has scored for Leeds. Gale to lock. He's counting after this, but there's not much room out there. The electric third into giving him a yard which he's done he's got a good cross in there towards Gordon Davis 1-1 one, one. good play there by Coney finding Wilson inside for Lewington who seems to get a lot of space in that midfield for Fulham Davis Lewington again and he used it well there's Locke right in there and Coney Oh, what a bad ball, and Davis! And Eddie Gray, the player manager, provides the pass, which certainly wasn't intended for Davis. Kenny Burns, Graham. Moses, and now for Stapleton, or maybe for Grimes, tremendous goal! He's come up quickly from the back door, to be unnoticed on the far side there, and it'll be Horton with the kick, chip.
tipped in there towards Ricky Hill. And it's gone in. One run. Clumsy work on the line by Gary Bailey and a spinning ball perhaps for the equaliser for Luton. Finding Pike. Oh, a nice little touch there by Goddard for Stewart. And here's Maver coming in on that right touch line. Oh, and it could be there, Martin! Alvin Martin! It was a lovely piece of play. And Goddard again, shrugging off Lawrenson, but it's not as easy as that. But he gets it in for all that Pike! And the second goal for West Ham! Thompson played back again for Graham Soonis. And there was no stopping that. And Liverpool are back in it with a goal by Graham Soonis with 14 minutes left. Nodded on there by Goddard for Neighbour. And Goddard outside him. And Clark coming in fast as well. And Clark has scored! 3-1. Sanson with the free kick for Arsenal. Talbot playing a quick ball in there. It eluded Whitehead for a moment and it's divine now for Arsenal. Closed in once more towards Alan Sunderland. And Sunderland has scored. Sunderland outside it. Woodcock and Robson advancing into that area. And Woodcock! Very active in these opening moments, and a uh, lovely ball there for Gary Locke, turned back by him. Troy couldn't quite get in there. The Locke with a chance to turn it in once more. And the header, and the goal by John Bumstead. And again. And now Hales. Now Hales, who usually finishes well, and does right now to make it 1-1. Chelsea in their programme notes talk about it being a mediocre season for them so far and they will look for a win here today to improve that situation. Good work here now as Walker gets in the shot but he's charged down. Pates will have a tremendous shot! Towards Speedy on the far side, that time Elliot was equal to him in the air. And bangs that one away with his right boot. As far as Mickey Droy, with a bounce on that massive chest. Ooh, and a good ball in. And Robson. And number three. bang from Ray Stewart from the penalty spot. Clark somehow getting it down for Pike. But I'm just trying to get in there. Pike might go all the way. And makes it three. Jeff Pike. Well, he rode his luck well. Here and with it. Deep, deep one there. Popple trying to turn it back. And a goal by Kevin Moore. Well, it's got to be no more than a consolation right at the end there for Manchester United, but he scored in this game last year. Brian Talbot. The last was corner quickly taken. Luton caught out a little bit there. Rick's trying it in! Sloppy play by Luton from that corner. And they were punished in the 
severest way by Graham Hicks. Held off Horton, who's looking hard at the referee, but nothing was coming his way. Goodyear in a bit of trouble. Talbot coming up quickly, but couldn't quite get possession of it. Robson trying to get it across to Woodcock. Ricks playing it wide. Good period this for Arsenal. Sunderland. The ball broke for him nicely. Talbot trying to turn it in. 2 0. Ryan Talbot the second. Two goals in a little over a couple of minutes have suddenly put Arsenal right in the clear. Okay. Well, that was a bad ball, though. And it's with Moss trying the chip. And Luton are back in it. Ricky Hill. Horton. Moss. Kenny Burns will take the free kick. It's with Hart. Now Worthington. Punching the win. Turn for Graham. Maybe hustling Hinchelwood. His cross is a good one. Connor on the turn. Sims and Woodcock getting it through there. Oh, a fabulous goal there. And Stuart Rostron, Robson hits a most marvellous goal for Arsenal. Lincoln's beating O'Leary that time though. Played on now for Barnes. And he's made it 1 1. fans sense that their team could still do it and they're certainly giving them all the encouragement Davis with a cross coming in Torbert <laughs> O'Shea battling with Blissett Blissett might get the better of him, does so in fact. Gets the ball back for Barnes. And it's there! And what could have scored again? The ball came off Robson in fact, but Barnes will say, I'm claiming a hat-trick. Robson for Harris, who gets it. Curtis, bonkied into the middle, but Edworth getting it away as far as Hazelwood. Hales. 
there for number 10, and then for the canister, 1-0. Robinson go across there, it's with Robinson, he can play it again for Alan Siemenson. And a shot, and a great goal by Siemenson! Well that will delight the Valley fans. He's able to get the ball to Reed. Straight to Horton. Now, a bit of space maybe for him. Stevens coming up from the back. The surface difficult. Bill finding Walsh. Brilliant goal by Paul Walsh. Asa Hartford. On the hill. And it's in there. Well, Cross may well claim it. And he's gone behind that goal. But it was a disastrous mistake, I would say, by Hill and uh, by Stevens. Oh, this time. Turn in there by Horton. <laughs> and it's Steen who gets it in there to make it 2 1. A variation on the corner. David Moss again with the corner for Luton. And it's bobbing about there. And it's an own goal by Hartford. And it's 3-1. And that's the art of compromise. The referee got Pike to take the ball back. And the wall to go back as well. Gallagher! And Petty! 17 years old. And he scores his first goal in his first game for West Ham. Space here for Brazil to chip in towards Walk. And now for Gates. A little chip in again. Charlton really under the cosh at the moment. Tyson shot. And another run goal by McAllister this time. So Ipswich get back in it. Now has a first class opportunity of repairing the damage of the first 15 minutes. So Walk with a penalty. And it's 2-2. Two -two. Oh, walk. It's there. And it's Twitch have won it. Dramatically, right at the end. You couldn't get closer in time added on. And it's Twitch from being two down inside 15 minutes. So Flanagan again, left-footed with the corner, deep towards Fennick. That might go anywhere. Well, it's gone in. There was a ricochet, and they've gone to applaud Gregory. And now Clank. Gregory has already scored one. Fully committed to keeping this ball out. Gary Owen playing it wide for Whitehead. Bad marking by Tottenham and a clever free kick by Albion. Possibly before this call is taken, if the referee's attention can be attracted, which it can't, so V is taking it. Kick in there towards Albion. It's Crook. Mark Crooks.
ball comes for Adidas. And now Gibson. Oh, all the way for Gibson! And a great goal! Rostrum. Little ground skills there, jackets. Oh, and he might come for Blissett! <laughs> Bolton getting back. Sherwood coming out. Walters getting in. And the most remarkable goal. Well, a look of disgust there between defender and goalkeeper as they came rushing towards each other. Miller again, ball it away, but only as far as Rostrum. Another shot, it's driving. Right oh, and a goal! The very last kick of the game. Submerged there by his teammates. Will Foster. Martin. Loading it in there. Bold. It could be an own goal. And Hampton finds Chamberlain now. Might be able to stretch his legs. He's got Mickey Thomas there supporting him. Tremendous pace of Chamberlain. The cross comes in, and I thought for a moment it might. Bracewell missed Hugh Bagley. Griffiths, and he kicked off the line. And in the end, it's gone in. The deflection off Mickey Thomas. After Painter had struck the shot. And between them, they have contrived. Brown is up again as Houghton takes this corner for Fulham. It was Dale who got the header in, and Batch, and it's gone away. Well, Robert Wilson will claim it, and why not? That's a good ball, finding Gordon Davis. Houghton's right up there with him. The run is on for Davis. It's still on for him. Oh, my goodness. What a goal that was. Happen with it, Tony Gale. It's a happening for uh, Gale again. Lewington shots, only half saved, and surely yes, Wilson gets his second and Fulham's third. Oh, that was a weak clearance there. And Kevin Moore, I think it was, and the ball now with Coney. Crossbar, Lewington, 4 0. John Barnes. Something in there. And a goal. Callaghan getting in at the far post. And West Ham were badly caught out there. For Watford, Pike once again. Now Dickens. Turning quickly towards well, Van der Elst. One one. A mistake by Watford. And they are punished by the Belgian Van der Elst. Played in to Dickens. Oh, he did well. And a nice little chip for Swindlehurst. <laughs> to go all the way. Just kept in by Mal Donaghy. That's a good cross towards Aylott. Can he get there? Can he still get there? Long-range shot deflected for Shaw. there from Gary Shaw. 
Haylott's header. Hill, can he finish this off? Right at the finish. And there's your answer. But maybe Haylott, except he can't find the ball at the moment. Now Walsh, perhaps he can. And that's money can. And he's there! Moss has got a winner! Great driver of the ball! Tremendous! He scored in the last three cup ties for Brighton. Bloody rubbish, referee! Action. Floated in again towards McCulloch. And mostly down bravely, but not bravely enough. And Miracevic! for Smith, touch this time for Case, touched on again for Gordon Smith, now can he get into a shooting position here, good save by Boulder, but Smith is there, and Robinson is there! 2 it is have many qualities but a lack of height is not the best thing for this particular situation Roger Brown up Swinburne fisting away and a good save and a goal given he must have just carried it over the line and Robert Wilson has given for them Bizarre, but nonetheless very important one goal lead. Lewington. Hopkins. And O'Driscoll making the break. That's not a bad cross. Except that Rushbury is there. Not the best of clearances by him either. So O'Driscoll might get another chance. Hopkins. Chipping this time towards Coney. And the touch by him. Second of the game by Wilson, and the second of the game for Fuller. End result didn't cause Dale too many problems, but now Gemmell finds Brolly. Barton, just in once more, missed by Wilson. Can Emson keep it in? Just. So it may not be over yet. Brolly with a header. And heading to the roof of the net. Superbly there by Davison. Mills. Oh, that's a good ball. Gates. It's a good drive. Oh, it's a great goal. And that surely is the end of the road for Ipswich. Here's Mills to McCall. 
which is in there which have got a touch too Brazil's got it they're all piling into the penalty area Butcher oh, Sorry, Butcher pulls another one back Terrible ball from Dino. He's given it straight to Bremner. Villa now surging forward. Here's Morley. Shaw and with in the centre. He goes Shaw! What a header from Gary Shaw. For the moment, it looked as if it had hit the side netting. The angle was that narrow. Now Dachi. There he is again. Zagnier. Tony Morley helping out for a chance and a goal for Montesco. Well, Tony Morley had drifted back to help out his defence. Uh, it was sort of halfway through the season really before we, we started to, um, to put a few results together. Williams and Armstrong in the middle if he can cross. Williams, Williams the scorer with a beautiful flick header. Steve Williams putting Southampton in front with a very good goal. Pons. Pick on by Wallace. Corrigan out, but not in time. And Moran has made it 2-0. Nickel. And that's gone through for Moran. Corrigan backpedalling. Moran can't work it through the wet. And he's forced to dribble out. And there it goes in from Puckett. Strong, pocket, Moran in the middle, Holmes arriving too, here's Holmes, made himself some room, can he curl one? Yes he can! Played short for Remy Moses, Stapleton trying to push in the header, and Muren, and the Queen, fucked it in! Sutton totally beaten by the power of the shot. Certainly Manchester United can't feel they've got the job done here yet. Moses. Todd misjudged it. And Koppel! He found a gap where there seemed to be none. chance for United to exploit Muren's accuracy at set pieces. McQueen, they've done just that. And Forrest surely are going out of the milk cup now. Hodge. Easy for Duxbury. Young reacting quickly. And so to the right side. And now Duxbury. Only Stapleton up with him. Duxbury prepared to go it alone. Stapleton acting as the decoy, and now Robson, still Robson, United finish in style, the goal for Robson, but the credit to Duxbury. They're still roaring in their supporters, almost 25,000 of them here tonight, after Graham, one last run from him, Connor, he's got nobody to cross it to. So he's held it up and he's nicked it through the legs. The well squares it across. He's sorted out. But the West has won the tie for Leeds. And what a finish to a cup tie. Arsenal must surely be out of the cup. Still win. Ricks with the free kick. How is it in? Oh, it's an equaliser. Lukic beaten at the post. Graham Ricks has got the equaliser. Eddie Gray can't believe it. Those Arsenal fans over there celebrate. And now surely this tie must be going on to a third meeting. Well one there by Whitten. The tall fella. Whitten out there. Thomas on his right, but Whitten doing well on his own. And there's Haitley. It's a great header. Wonderful header from Mark Haitley. in high there. Mendham has recovered well. Barham gets one over well. A rider and Bertie. It's a goal. Watson.
Anderson. Oh, and Barham might get in on this one. Barham's there. It's a goal. What a great bit of play by the smallest player on the field. McQueen, very positive. Arsenal a little lucky on that ricochet calling for Manchester United. Robson holding him up for a moment. Moses playing the ball in for Whiteside. 1-0. So oh, that could be dangerous. Talbot playing it and Robson has collected and he's got Whiteside outside him. And Stapleton his old club and a goal that in the first instance was of Arsenal's own making Robson Muren Stapledon on the charge again and he's got Whiteside in the middle he's got Koppel in the middle as well he's found Koppel and Koppel has found the net Oh, Muren said thank you very much and here's Whiteside and here's Koffel in a lot of space can it be number four there's the answer 4-0 for Manchester United and they've killed off Arsenal now it always looked the more comfortable side at uh, Manchester United in every respect this evening but that was a good ball to Woodcock and he has scored so there's a consolation for Arsenal with seven minutes left Alberston again good work on the ground Torbert Arsenal looking hard now for a second goal which who knows might at least give them a glimmer of hope for the second leg and Rick's coming in and the goal is there by Peter Nicholas challenge of McQueen the first time but not the second and McQueen goes on first run over the halfway line in the whole game and once he got into unfamiliar territory wondered what to do and Davis robbed him while he was thinking about it but now it's back with United white side clip across to Koppel on the volley and that wraps it up Steve Koppel who scored twice at Highbury. Good header across by Woodcock. And Meade turns it in to make it one all. And a touch from Moran. Almost inadvertently scoring then. I'm not sure whether that was meant as a scoring effort. But a scoring result it was. So Phil Neal. Gee, Cooper, Simpson, Weir, 
and Rugby are all in there for Aberdeen and McLeish has come up late and the goal is there and it's given by Black Aberdeen ahead inside seven minutes well Juanito has a golden opportunity of putting Real Madrid back at 1-1 and that's what it is Nito again, Juan Jose. Aberdeen have got to find some strength in those legs to hustle for a few more minutes yet. And they've done so. Weir. That's a good ball for from Peter Weir. And now Aberdeen with McGee making the break. And Hewitt waiting in the middle! Oh! Hewitt! Just past the half an hour mark. Humberto again. And Sale! Sale equals the aggregate score. Lozano. Vandenberg. And now the Caltron. And Anderlecht have players arriving in the middle. Lozano! A classic reply from Anderlecht. Wilkins playing it on again for Alderston. In turn, it goes for Whiteside. Stevens is watching him. Now Davis just playing it back for Robson! Takes the corner. McQueen trying to get above his man on the far side. There's no foul there. Davis with a chance of pulling it back once more, which he does well. White side! Another one! Misery there for Mosley, but sheer delight for Manchester United and Norman Whiteside. A free kick for the challenge on Whiteside, who's on his feet. And Muren will take it. Tipped in once more towards Robson. Stapleton in there too. Oh, and it's given. Graham Mosley holding things up a little bit while he has a feel of the ball. Not an awful lot of pressure on Muren, I suppose, when your side's 3-0 up in a cup final, but nice to score for all that. Bertelsen who touched it from him and Mariner winning a ball well in the air now Robson can he keep it in and Mariner again and Ritz. England get the goal through Trevor Francis Alan Hansen who was the top scorer in Danish football last season has subsequently moved to Hamburg where he's made a good start and now he comes face to face with Peter Shilton. 1-1. One, one. And out of your picture, Bobby Robson is down on the touchline talking to Armstrong and to Hill. Francis! The substitutions might not be necessary. Francis restores the lead. Olsen. Still Olsen. Brilliantly done. Jesper Olsen with a goal of supreme quality. 9-0 defeat of Luxembourg augured well for the future.
post. And an own goal of the strangest nature. Bossi shakes his head. He drove the ball back, trying to clear it. And it went in off the goalkeeper. Sanson with the throw. The amount of litter on the pitch again, reflecting the windy conditions. Merce hesitated. Koppel makes it two. As Luxembourg stood and waited. Martin. 3-0. Tony Woodcock. For Robson. And for Woodcock. And Blissett surely this time. For well, he's miskicked it in. Woodcock. Abbott and Woodcock is onside this time the angle widening by the second as the ball ran away from him but Blissett puts it in Sansom finally played in by Butcher it's a goal that Mark Chamberlain takes the credit for they all jump together Robson Woodcock sensing possibilities again Blissett's in the middle it's the hat-trick! Hoddle, 8-0! One from the Glenn Hoddle repertoire. Now Neil. And 4-0 is on the score sheet because you'll have a job to take that one away from him. Dalglish is Archibald ahead of him, that's a good pass for Archibald. Back to Dalglish, and Scott will take the lead. It's a marvellous opening. Twelve and a half minutes of the first half gone, and a vintage goal from Kenny Dalglish. He's 27 for the Scotland jersey, and his 89th international. He's playing it short, Devander's missing. Cook for Carlton, this is where his pace can be so dangerous for Scotland. Van der Elst is there, there's Van der With the equaliser, but it was all down to Frank Burkhouse on the left. Dalglish, well, that's a great turn by Dalglish. Chance to win for Scotland. Dalglish is fine! Oh. And that is a goal to remember. Marvellous play by Kenny Dalglish, and if anyone cares to question his ability to Scotland jersey, let him look at that goal again. And then Bert took up good position, so did Kuhlman. Great play from Bert and Van der Elst. There's Kuhlemans again and lots of space for Belgium. This might be the man to tear Scotland apart. And there's missing to Van der Elst. And Van der Elst celebrates the same typical fashion as Belgium take the lead for the first time in the match. A touch from Robbie James and then from Davis. And now Rush. He's kept the run going. it again. Turns past Jacket. And Butcher! Well, it was a scramble. Southall reluctant to go back on his line, but Phil Neal, who on Sunday, on his 32nd birthday, missed the penalty that would have kept Liverpool in the cup. Scored. Charles on the floor. The referee was standing beside him. 